In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your rubric grading criteria and import them into other assignments, share them with your team, and uh, just just reuse them, really, so you're not having to create them from scratch um, time again. So when you're creating rubrics inside assignments, you can you do get the choice to reuse ones that you've already created yourself. Now, if you want to share them with a department or even with another school or make them available for other people to download, then you can do that. So when you've created your rubric, for example, on this assignment here, I'm using a rubric, uh, English Creative Writing. If I click on it, you'll see that there's the option here to download as CSV. And if I select that, it downloads to my computer as a CSV file. If I open up that CSV, you'll see that it's not... Um, not incredibly useful. Um, it will show, um, but obviously it's in a spreadsheet format. So once you've exported it as a CSV, if I then wanted to import one, like I say, you already have the ones available to yourself anyway, um, but if I create a new assignment here, I'd add a rubric, you get the option to upload rubric and this will let you import them. You see, I've already got that because I've already used it with this with this group. I can upload a rubric. And if I select that CSV, you'll see that I can import it back into here. I'll call this one imported so you can see it's definitely come in from um, that spreadsheet. And you see here it is, I've created a new assignment with that um, with that rubric. And when you come to actually create another assignment after that, if I just discard that one and create a brand new one, you'll see that the imported one is there for me to use again. So you can share these with your department, you can share them with other schools, you can share them on the web, you can download them and import them, and hopefully make it much easier when trying to use uh, grading criteria.